Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to take a PowerPoint presentation and then how to change that into a Google document. Now why would somebody want to do that? Well, you might be in a situation uh, where you only have access to PowerPoint one time. For example, maybe you can use PowerPoint in the computer lab, but you don't have PowerPoint at home. So in that situation, you're going to want to use both. Um, Google Docs and PowerPoint so you can get your project completed. So why use PowerPoint? Well PowerPoint has a lot more of the advanced tools um, than Google Docs. As you can see here uh, we can have uh, the fonts. Uh, we have a lot more choice as far as you know the the fonts there. We uh, You can see this black a square has a slight uh, fade or what we call a transparency so we can see the fire behind the text but th at the same time the text isn't lost in the picture so uh, you can see we have uh, fancy letters here with uh, glowing white outlines um, and then instead of uh, tables I can build these things called uh, smart charts uh, so where it's boxes and arrows and uh, just a lot of uh, great tools that you can make your uh, presentations more compelling. Also you see this black box here has a black transparency that sort of fades into the picture. So again it's just a little more stylistic. And there's uh, all my slides here. So once you've designed your um, slides. You want to go ahead and save it. Now when you save it you have to be very careful. It's, if you're in the computer lab you need to make sure you save it to my documents. Uh, that's the only place they will allow you to. But other than that when you go to save it you want to make sure that it's saved as what's called a 97 to 2004 file. Basically what you're looking for is .ppt. Okay that's your um, that's the secret right there. Now, newer versions of PowerPoint save as something called point .pptx. That's for uh, PowerPoint 2010 and 11. However, Google Documents will only convert .ppt. So make sure you save with that in mind. If you're using OpenOffice.org, make sure you save your PowerPoint as a .ppt as well. If you're using Open Office, the default is something called .odf. You don't want that. You want to make sure that you save it as a .ppt. Then ever, anyone can open it, including yourself. So uh, we go ahead and save this as a .ppt. Okay, so it's saving right now. Okay, so once you've saved it in PowerPoint, we're going to go back to our Google Docs. Make sure you're signed in and click on documents. We're going to upload. You can just simply click and uh, drag the file if you like to. So to do that, it's just a simple matter of uh, moving all the uh, windows out of the way here. And you can just find your file and just go ahead and drop it right there. That's probably one of the easiest ways. Uh, if you don't want to do all that, you can select files to upload. Either way will work. So here I just have to manually find the file. And I think I have it right here. Again, I want to make sure it's a .ppt. So I'm going to open that there. And you can see right here, um, it is in fact a .ppt. So make sure you have the right file type. Okay, now that we've checked that, come down here to your options. And you want to have this box checked. It says convert documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and drawings to the corresponding Google Docs formats. That will allow us to now convert our .ppt to a Google document. Now click on destination. Make sure you select your collection that's shared with me. And you can ignore this button and go ahead and start upload. You know, you're going to see that it's uploading. Okay. 
When it's finished, you'll get a little check mark. And it's done. Let's click on it. And so what you have now is a Google document. You know that because look, I still have all of my design tools, except what you see is I still have all those fades in the black boxes, the transparency. I still have the fonts, as you can see here. I still have my graphics. The only catch is once you've converted it to a Google Doc, you can't make any changes. For example, if I needed to change something here, I'm kind of stuck. So um, it's only basically what you see is what you get. However, the advantage is now it's a uh, Google Doc, so I can share it easily and I can add elements or even delete items that I may not need anymore. So you can delete and you can add new. You just can't change what's in here. Now you notice in this box, the Spanish Inquisition, notice I lost the font. Let's look at the original PowerPoint. Okay, do you see I had this sort of uh, um, engraver's font and when we go back to Google Doc when it converted we lost that cool effect so understand when you do convert to Google Doc you might lose some uh, things in the process now make sure you go ahead and save it and it should automatically be saved go to Google Docs okay and then make sure you go ahead and put that into your collection but it should already be there because when we uploaded it we uh, selected that folder so let's go ahead and put that in there okay so we're gonna click on it and here it is right here so even in let's look at this small window here's the original Google Docs and here's the one made from PowerPoint so you can already tell visually the PowerPoint will look a little better 